Hi, and welcome to our latest video where we want to show you some of our favorite tips for optimizing Microsoft Teams meetings. Our first tip for Teams meetings is being able to lock the meeting. Now this allows you to block any more attendees from joining the meeting or disturbing the meeting after your decided time. As we can see on here, we can allow for the participants waiting to join. If we then go into the people section on the top taskbar of the meeting, we can go into the ellipsis and click on lock the meeting. It will then ask you to confirm that this is the action that you want to take. The same will apply for unlocking the meeting as you'll go through the same process back into the ellipsis and go ahead and click on unlock the meeting. Our next tip is meeting options. So if we go into our more button on the top taskbar, we can scroll down to meeting options where we have all sorts of options that we can choose to edit our meeting so that we have it exactly how we want. For example, we can let participants bypass the lobby so they can come straight into the meeting. We can choose who we want to present and add names in or take away names. We can choose whether attendees are allowed to use their microphone or their camera. We can enable and disable reactions and meeting chats, as well as being able to record meetings automatically too. So there are loads of options to optimize the meeting to exactly how you want it. So once you have the settings that you need, all you need to do is click on save and your meetings options will change. Our third tip of the day is presenting PowerPoints for a Teams meeting through PowerPoint Live. We want to first start by going into the content sharing section in our Teams meeting and go down to PowerPoint Live, where it gives you the option to present your recent PowerPoint documents or browse your OneDrive or computer. Once you have selected the PowerPoint you want to present, it will, it will show then as the main screen for everyone and will look like this for you. And then you can edit and highlight and erase anything on the PowerPoint throughout the meeting as you're presenting. You can also change your presenter view at the top so that you can actually be in the PowerPoint too. To stop the presentation, all you need to do is go to the top and click stop presenting. Tip number four is a mixture of two tips. I want to show you how to record your meetings as well as how to turn your live captions on. So let's take a look. Whilst in our meeting, we want to go to the ellipsis that says more. We can then scroll down and go ahead and click on start recording. This will then begin your meeting recording for yourself and participants. This can also be sent to anyone who missed the meeting too, so it is very beneficial. To find live captions, we're going to do the exact same process and you can see the button is right above the recording one. So if we go ahead and click on this, we will then get live captions during the meeting. To turn these off is the same process back into more and click stop live captions and stop recording. Tip number five is creating breakout rooms during your meetings. Now, I know in a previous video we discussed how to do this before the meetings, but did you know you can actually create breakout rooms during the meeting too? So here is how. At the top panel of your meeting, we can see the icon that says rooms. If we go ahead and click onto this, we can then set up how many rooms we want and whether we want participants to be put in the rooms automatically or if we want to manually do this. Once we have done this, they will break into the rooms as usual. Number six, chatting with participants during the meetings. During meetings, we are able to create a chat with the participants. This is helpful for multiple reasons. You can send files or folders. If someone is unable to use their mic, they, can, they are able to put messages in the chat to be able to communicate or even make the meeting a bit fun with a GIF. This chat works in the same way as Teams usual, usual chat function. So that was the last tip of the day. We hope that these will help you optimize Teams meetings for the future. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe and tell us your favorite tip of the day.